Another month is come and gone, and like always, we've added a bunch of new features. First, you may have noticed a few new updates to the text tool, like a new overflow, fit, and vertical alignment options. Additionally, we've updated the runtimes to let you access the text runs of a nested artboard and assign a fallback font. Creating a dash stroke is easier than ever now that we've added our dash stroke feature. Customize the size and gaps of your dash and animate those properties. Revision history also receives some love. You can now manually save and rename revisions via the revision history options. Now you can add elastic interpolation to any transitions in your state machine. Webflow users rejoice! Rive is now a native format in Webflow, meaning you can drag and drop your production-ready graphics directly into your Webflow project. Our Unreal Runtime is now integrated with RHI, allowing compatibility with DirectX 12 and deeper integration with other Unreal systems that we're working to bring in the future. The Runtime is also compatible with Unreal 5.4. The list of companies using Rive is growing, and we're starting to see some of their hard work hit production. The new face of Notion, Clip, I mean, Nosy? Yep, that's using Rive. Now check out this flashback. Too Advanced is back and they rebuilt their iconic V3 website using Rive. Oh, and those cool updates Duolingo talked about at Duocon, like Video Call with Lily and Game Like Adventures. You guessed it, using Rive. Last, but certainly not least, the Rive renderer is now in both the web and desktop editors. Not only does it give you even better performance while working, but it also opens the door for us to deliver effects like drop shadows and glows in the near future. 